Tide News. I'm Michael, and today is Dece Tuesday, December 14th. Um, sorry about missing yesterday. It's another day. Really mess with our schedule. Another day begins, and that means it's another day closer to Christmas. Only 10 days to the day. I wonder if the lunch staff is staying on the nice list with their choices today. We will be having chicken bite sandwich. Chicken bite with teeth with sweet and sour chicken Caesar wrap chef salad. I would say that keeps them on the good side. How about Mother Nature? Is she playing nice today? Let's get the details on, to, on today's forecast. More of the same today with temps in the mid 30s. Topping out at 33 degrees along with those temps will be sun and some clouds. At least there is no snow in the forecast and tomorrow looks like it could be it could actually be warmer yet. I would say that Mother Nature is hanging in there on the nice list for now. Back to Thanks you. Thanks for update, Jeremiah. <clears throat> Come to school prepared for cold weather. Recess supervisors will be enforcing the rules of going outside whether dressed approximately or not. Since there's snow on the ground, you need to be wearing boots or snow pants or you will be required to stay on the blacktop. Masks are highly recommended, but not required. So make sure to ha ha wash hands and sanitize properly whenever possible, <clears throat> and social distance whenever possible. <clears throat> uh, hallway behavior is getting out of hand. Please be a zero in the hallways out of respect to our classrooms that are in session. More on that to come. The giving tree has begun. Make sure to bring your in your contributes and help fa a family in need this holiday day season. We have collected approximately $700, so, far and um it's seven hundred dollars so far and the um and the final push we've uh, let's make that final push before christmas break so we can meet our goal remember to practice habits of mind and sleep at pride this week's habit is responding with wonderment and awe let's get the details on this short It's a flower. We see those every day. It's not just about the flower. It's about looking at things that might seem ordinary and finding what's special about them. Yeah. My mom says that's called responding with wonderment and awe. All thinking begins with wondering. If we want thinking to take place, we've got to have wonderment. It's inherent within every one of us. I have a well, great grandson, and he is fascinated with trucks. But you ought to see him. He takes them apart, puts them back together, dismantles them, and reassembles them, and plays around us. It's all just wonderment. The problem is that long about fifth grade, kids lose that. And so um, the task for teachers is to keep that wonderment alive throughout a lifetime. Now I understand why you're so excited to watch the flower bloom. Come to think of it, I've never seen a flower bloom before. <laughs> now I'm excited too! For this time of year, <clears throat> more opportunities for us to practice this week. See you again tomorrow. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance on the count of three.